Hello everyone. This is a quick run through of a patch I made in Touch Designer for video mixing with the Launchpad Mini controller. It's quite simple. Two channels of video and a mixer with 24 clip slots for four folders. The folder structure is such that you have to have a base folder in which you have four additional folders which have the actual video files in them. When you start up the Touch Designer file, go to Perform mode by pressing F1. Then you're going to see the UI, which is here. And on the lower left hand corner, you have this plus button. If you press on that, you get a dialog box where you can search for a folder. And my folder is on the desktop, so I go there. And here I got VJ Clips Architects of Tomorrow which I downloaded from archive.org. I'll leave a link in the description. And inside I got four folders, which each got videos in them. So I want to choose the topmost folder, which has the four folders in it, and then click on Open. So now I get the videos on preview for channel one and channel two. And then on the top right corner, I got the final output from the mixer. And below that uh, screen, I got this button, output. So if you click on that, you should be able to set up your external monitor for the output. Okay, so what about on the large pad side? The topmost row is for selecting your folders. So for example, if I press here, I get folder one, folder two, folder three, folder four. Same thing on the right side for channel two, folder one, folder two, folder three, and folder four. Let's pick folder one and folder three for channel one, channel two. And underneath those are clip banks, 24 clips can be stored for each folder in these banks. So I can change the clip by pressing here. And for channel two, I can change the clip by pressing here. Now the bottom row is the mixer. So right now we're in channel one. And if I start moving by pressing the buttons towards the right, I end up in channel 2. So channel 2 is now output to the screen. And on the right here we got this round button. It should be lit, but it was not. So when it's lit, that means actually that the mixer is in use. And if it's unlit, it means that the button next to it instantaneously changes the output between channel 1 and 2. So if this is lit, I can switch between the crossfade. So if this is lit, I can crossfade between the channels or just jump between them, but if it's unlit, I can just instantaneously change the channel. This is for uh, strobing effects, if you need them. That's it. I hope you enjoy this. I know it's really simple, but if you come up with ideas on how to make it better, please leave a comment 